Hi, my name is Emma Wagner. I'm an occupational therapy student at Cleveland State University, completing my doctoral capstone. For this experience, I worked alongside my site mentor, Dr. Karen Kepner, completing a campus-wide needs assessment on Cleveland State's campus. As a little introduction to my capstone, I chose to focus on college students at CSU because college students are reported to experience high levels of mental illness. Since the 1990s, college students have been reported to have the lowest levels of mental health. It was reported that high stress levels are the most impactful on academic performance for these students. High stress levels leads to a greater risk for anxiety and depression, which limit healthy academic and life roles. Students who need assistance are often unaware or unable to access services that may help their success. Campus counseling centers and disability support offices are limited in their capacity to help students due to increased mental illness and students needing assistance. OTs can help individuals with participation and engagement in their occupations or meaningful activities, which can help to promote health and wellness. Since school is a major occupation for students, OTs can assist college students at risk of developing a condition or disability. The purpose of this capstone was to conduct a needs assessment to identify gaps in services offered on CSU's campus and to offer suggestions on how an OT can, on campus can fill these gaps. My main goal from this experience was to identify the gaps in services on campus and determine how OT can fill this role. In trying to meet this goal, I accomplished the following. I received approval from CSU Institutional Review Board, which allowed me to gather data and share my results. To identify these gaps on campus, I interviewed eight individuals from administration and student support services and surveyed 41 CSU students. From these interviews, I found there's an increase in mental health concerns on campus, leading to an increase in referrals to services. I also found students have many competing demands as most are commuters who deal with balancing family work and school responsibilities. Students are having difficulty transitioning back to campus post pandemic and as first year students from high school. Students report wanting more availability, communication and access to services. I also analyzed the data that I collected and brainstormed ways OT can fill gaps on campus, which I will explain more about on the next slide. While going through this process, I took notes along the way and created a how-to guide to complete a campus needs assessment that others can reference. I presented at the Ohio College Health Association annual conference to show my appreciation for the Lewis Wells grant and share my findings. I also wrote a professional paper about my findings for publication. This needs assessment shows that there are many gaps on this campus and hiring an OT is a beneficial way to assist in filling these gaps. OT can provide a level of mental health services on campus as the profession understands the application of mental health on routines, habits, and daily activities. OT can also assist in transitional periods through expanding the intro to university life course and working on transitional skills, routines, and habits to promote healthy student roles. Increasing the coordination and the communication across campus is important to limit redundancies in services and confusion among staff and students. U using a universal system for information and scheduling student services would improve accessibility to these services, thus improving the student experience. Finally, individualizing services to the needs of the students would increase interest, motivation, and participation. In the future, I hope to work with students to assist them with obtaining accessible education and live meaningful lives. These are my references.